Hey everyone, Brendan the Blind Guy here. Now, thank you for being here with me. And all of those prejudiced voices might say I'm in too deep, way over my head, but let me tell you, this one is all killer, no filler, and it's gonna leave you screaming bloody murder. I'm speaking to Dez from Sum 41, how are ya? Good man, how are you doing? Really good. Now that was an epic show you just put on here at Crowbar. Now what did you think of the atmosphere here tonight? Well, I mean, it was the uh, first time in about 13 years since I've actually been to Australia with some whole lot, so it was yeah. huge. And like, I mean, the crowds, like they haven't lost a beat. It's amazing. Yeah. It felt good out there. Yeah, wow. Okay, so for people who either missed out on the show tonight or can't see you guys at Download Festival, mm -hmm. In your words, describe what a Sum 41 show is all about. Ah, I mean, for us it's just like interacting with everybody, feeling the energy of the room and just, I don't know, it's enjoying yourself. Nice. Yeah. Like you, you did really interact with the crowd all the time and there was not a second of silence and not a second of low energy. You had everyone in the palm of their hands from start to finish. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Yeah, right. with, the, with the club show, like, tend to kind of keep keep it motoring. Yeah. Whereas when you're playing in front of like a bigger crowd, it's nice to bring it down, bring it back up, kind of play dynamics. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, so I know you're in a hurry, but you did tease us tonight by saying you're going to have a new album coming out very soon. Yeah, yeah, the new album should be out uh, sometime in the summer. And uh, yeah, we, we uh, spent uh, pretty much the winter tracking it. And yeah, it's, it's, Sweet. it's done and ready to go. Yeah. Three more ones for you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, you must have some pretty priceless moments on your music career. Yeah. That's right, people. It's WTF time. <laughs> so, what would be the most priceless, hilarious WTF moment you can think of? Oh, man, there's been so many. That's a lot. Jeez, oh, I don't know. First one that comes to mind, you don't have to keep it clean. Uh, you know what? We uh, we were signing autographs once at a show in Calgary, yep. uh, in Canada, and a prosthetic limb came over the fence that we were signing. <laughs> and so we signed it, gave it back, but the wrong person took it and just started running down the field. <laughs> so we're all, like all of us, like the people we're signing for and the band, we're all just kind of like watching in awe as this person <laughs> runs off into the distance. and. You just see like all these people with yellow jackets on, just like <laughs> just around, and it's raining. So when this person got tackled, and I'm saying like this person got tackled, like three people hit this this guy at the same time. You just saw the limb just go and just, like flew up in the air, and it was just surreal and wow. But that yeah. that is definitely WTF. Yeah. Okay, now. I reckon so I'm getting the, I'm getting the, we've got to move along. Okay. One more then. Okay. What would you say to fans that are stuck by you from start till now? What would be your message to fans? That's probably the most meaningful and uh, biggest thing that we're thankful for is fans sticking around since, you know, it makes no difference. It means a lot and there's, there's no other, uh, there's nothing else to say. Oh. It's one of the most amazing things about being a musician. Nice. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Thank and you hopefully do. I can see you tomorrow at Download Festival. All right, hope again. Cheers. All right, take care. You too. See you guys.